Hello, I'm Colin Harris from Nowhere, and this is an introduction to a series on hooking up SAS in Excel. Nowhere is an analytics and information management consultancy based in New Zealand, and we do a lot of BI and data warehouse work with SAS. The series is going to include an introduction, which I'm doing now, and we'll then go through a number of different techniques for interfacing SAS in Excel, and then I'll show a number of examples where possible. How did this come about? Lots of people have been asking us about the best approach to interface SAS in Excel, our clients and other people that we deal with, uh, and we had lots of discussions and sessions with those people. So because of this, we thought it's worthwhile putting together a presentation so a lot of people can take uh, the benefit from the, the understanding that we have of doing this. Uh, I was surprised at how many different techniques we came up with. You sort of think initially there's probably half a dozen different techniques, but as we uh, documented them, we've got over 16 different techniques that we're going to go through today. Of course, there's only time for an overview of each of these techniques in the series of videos that we're showing, showing you, and we've got uh, reference papers that we point to later on that give you a lot more details. There's so much material here that each of these sessions, um, really, each of these techniques deserves really a longer session on its own, but we, we're keeping it to short, giving you the overview. What we're going to focus on is getting from SAS to Excel, not the other way around. Excel back into SAS we will cover as a different series. Before moving on to talking about the Excel techniques, just ask you to consider, is Excel the best way to deliver the results that you're after? No doubt you're doing this because Excel is very popular and lots of customers want their results in Excel spreadsheets. But something I would ask you to consider first off is business intelligence self-service. Um, it could be a much better way to do that. You may have the appropriate SAS tools or there may be other tools that you have to enable you to set up interfaces to uh, allow customers to come and request the information, which saves you the effort of doing that, of generating Excel spreadsheets on a regular basis. So that's enough of that. It's a bit of a sidetrack. Now we'll move on to the different techniques uh, for generating information in Excel. So I said the 16 techniques we're going to talk about, I've compressed them down into 11 different categories of techniques and that's what we're going to cover in the, uh, the rest of the series. So just briefly uh, introducing each of those, the first one using SAS Enterprise Guide Wizards, the second using an Enterprise Guide Export as a Project Step, the third using Display Manager, that SAS Display Manager or the SAS Windowing Environment, the Export Wizard within that. The fourth one down using ODS or Output Delivery System and a range of different techniques we'll talk about there to get information through to Excel. The fifth one using a specialised Excel XP tag set which is designed for feeding information through from SAS to Excel. The sixth one using PROC Export or its cousin the PROC Import to bring information the other way around. Number seven is the SAS Excel Libname Engine. Number eight is using third-party control code. That is not using SAS or Excel, but using a third-party programming language, um, could be in .NET or could be Java, to actually read information from SAS and push it out to Excel. Ninth one, AMO, or the SAS add-in to Microsoft Office. The tenth is using OLADB or ODBC, that's reading it from Excel using those techniques to read the information into Excel rather than SAS pushing it out to Excel. And the last one, the 11th technique is DDE or Dynamic Data Exchange. Now those different techniques, it's worthwhile saying how they fit into different categories. First one is what controls the, the push of the information or moving the information from SAS to Excel. One group of techniques, it's very much a push from SAS. So SAS is controlling how the data is moved and pushing that data or information through to Excel. Second is the other way around, it's controlled from Excel. Excel is pulling the information in into Excel from SAS. And the third type is the third party control that we spoke about as one of those techniques where a third party program is actually controlling the work and moving of the information from SAS to Excel. So that's one way to categorize the information or the type of technique rather. Um, the second way, um, the content type, is what sort of information or what sort of data is being moved from SAS to Excel, and there's two types there. One is data, that is a SAS table which has its rows and columns, so that is moving that data from that SAS table through to Excel, 
and the second type is actually moving information or output. That's the result of some SAS processing. Typically it's procedure output. You may have a PROC regression or a PROC print or a PROC tabulate. So it's the result of that SAS procedure and that is what is going through to turn up into Excel. Okay, so for each technique, I'm going to go through each of these different categories in terms of what it is, what is the technique, what it's good for, what are the pros and cons of that technique, how to use it, some examples of showing um, actual code or maybe a point and click technique, so going through some screenshots of what it would look like, and then if we have any reference papers to provide you with some more details for that particular technique. Thanks for watching this video, which is part of a series on hooking up SAS in Excel. The full PowerPoint presentation is available at nowhere.co.nz, which includes references to good papers that provide more details.